Hey guys, welcome back to Home Built. And I know I've been saying it for the last few weeks, but I'm really hoping this week we can finish up the dash on Harry. All right, guys, those of you been watching the last few weeks will have seen me struggling to uh, redo the whole dash on Harry. And last week I did, I had a fail. This is the dash pad I made for underneath of the, uh, the underside of the dash in Harry. And uh, yeah, it's all just, it just didn't come out properly. I snapped the ends and uh, yeah, and the trimming is a bit loose and the whole thing, it didn't quite work the way I wanted. It was going well and it didn't quite go the way I wanted. If you missed that, I'll put a link up above so you can catch up and uh, think about subscribing if you haven't. It does help us out. So, uh, moving forward, what are we going to do? Well, um, the by far and away, the most common suggestion was to actually uh, redo the whole thing in fiberglass or cover, the, cover it in fiberglass, which um, I was originally trying not to do that. I have a reasonable amount of experience with fiberglass. I used to be a part owner in a fiberglass body kit company, so I'm well aware of what can do and what it can't do and I wanted to try and keep it foam but um, I have been shown that it's probably not the best way and uh, it's just going to be a lot easier to do uh, a fiberglass cover at least for part of it so let's strip this back now take the cover off and um, start having a look at what I'm going to do to reinforce it So I knew all of my work from last weekend was not going to be completely wasted and I just got out the hot glue gun and glued the ends of my uh, piece back on again. So um, it's uh, it's all back, it's all nice and straight and square and, uh, and looking good. So now it's time to start getting everything ready so that I can fiberglass it. Now I haven't actually tested this foam stuff with the fiberglass yet to see whether the resin actually eats it um, because it, some of these things it will just dissolve. Um, so fingers crossed the resin I have um we'll do the job so let's get some of that out now and uh, and have a little quick test on a, on another piece just to see if it'll eat it and then uh we're going to start getting ready and laying everything out so i can start wrapping this in fiberglass all right so i'm getting things ready and um while i was at it i um when i do fiberglassing i always go to a local hardware store buy a bunch of these cheap nasty brushes i have, I have a bunch of them that i just just get um they're i don't know you're packed for two bucks or something like that with a pack of six or something um and uh i saw a tip on uh street bandito's channel that is fantastic and that is actually if you get some super glue and run it along the edge of where the bristles go in, it'll actually soak through and it will stop the bristles from falling out when you use it, which I think is a fantastic, quick, simple thing. Quick tip, and uh, while, I've, while I'm at it, I'm just gonna do all the brushes I've got in this particular pack. So I just did a bit of a test and this resin does actually eat the foam a little bit, if that will focus. But it's not a huge deal. This has been sitting for about 10 minutes and it's eaten it a bit. So uh, I think it should hold up long enough for me to get a cover on here, a coating of the resin uh, so that it'll actually set. Let's start fiberglassing.
Okay, so I've got it all laid up now and I've used this style of cloth uh, fiberglass because it actually curves much better than the uh, chopped strand mat stuff. Um, I've got one layer on it. Uh, it is eating away the under cover. Um, I could have put sort of an epoxy resin or something like that would have been a better thing to use. I don't think that eats into it. So that would have been a better base first and then I could have gone over it with this, but uh, that's what I had. So we'll, uh, we'll fumble on through. Hopefully this will set up enough so that I can trim it back and then I'll see what we've got left and uh, I can build it up from there. Okay, and this is another one for the epic fail category. So um, it's been, I don't think I've uh, catalyzed the fiberglass enough. Uh, so it's taken a little while for it to go off and this is still soft, but it's completely crumbled away the fiberglass underneath. This uh, definitely did not work and I'm going to scrap this attempt. And I think it's time for uh, another whole rethink of how I'm gonna build this board underneath the dash. Okay, so after that first farce, I am doubling down and I'm going again. I have um, actually extended my uh, bracing. I'm going to use this now. I'm gonna put it back in the car and uh, I've started with a, another bit of foam that I have oh, glued to the table. Um, I hot glued together so I've got my length and we're going to start trimming out again because I've done another practice and I actually did a practice with the fiber body filler. This has been sitting for 20 minutes now. It's already uh, getting harder and uh, um, it, it will give it a bit of that extra strength that I'm after and uh, still hold its shape. So it's not going to just disintegrate like the fiberglass did. So I think this is a better option for me. Uh, as I said, I don't have the epoxy fiberglass would probably be better, but I don't have it. So let's start um, making the whole pad again. At least this time I know what I'm doing. All right, so as you can see, I took my support brace. I've extended it. I've actually, um, I've actually flipped it around from the other way. Um, I wasn't really concerned about it being a blade, but uh, some of you were, were quite concerned about it. I thought, oh, well, I may as well while I'm here. So it's gonna be running with the 90 degree angle facing forwards. I want to actually, this time, trim and recess in this lip into my foam and join it on and then trim it out and match it to the car. So I'm gonna do it slightly differently than the last time and uh, we'll see how it all comes together. All right, so a couple of hours later and I'm back to where I started last week, um, where I, uh, I've got this under dash panel. It's more reinforced now with that extra metal bracing all the way along and, um, and it fits nicely, it's all one piece. So this time, uh, instead of wrecking it with the fiberglass, I'm gonna use the fiber filler, um, which doesn't seem to eat into it and uh, I'm gonna 
put a nice thin coat of that over the whole thing. It's just going to give it a little bit more, a little bit more strength on the outside. And um, yeah, and then hopefully next time we trim it, it should all be crisp and neat and tidy. Alright, so uh, I have my layer all set up now of uh, fiberglass filler, so I'm going to go through, sand it, make it nice and smooth so we can get it ready to try and trim it again. All right, a bit of sanding, a bit of filling, and uh, I've got a reasonably smooth texture. There's a little bit of uh, unevenness still on the bottom. I didn't concentrate on that too much. I wasn't too worried about that. The front edge is the main thing that I'm concerned about. It's nice and neat, and so are the ends. So uh, now it's a nice and solid piece. It's definitely not gonna snap when I uh, try and trim it, which is what I need to do next. So let's um, do some measurements. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my same piece that I used last time, but I'm gonna trim the end off and shorten it a bit and narrow it slightly so I can stretch it on and uh, I think I'll have a better finish that way. All right, so I've shortened this by about 30 mil because uh, I sort of stretched it out, fit, saw what it was like, marked it, and uh, taking about 30 mil off it made it a much nicer, uh, sort of tighter fit. And, uh, and I re it on another end. And I've trimmed back these ends quite a bit. I've, uh, I've nipped them and folded them because there is gonna be a bit of bulk on the ends. I should have actually gone through and made a recess around the edge so that the trimming has somewhere to sit into so it'll sit flatter. I haven't done that, but uh, it'll still look nice and neat. There'll just be a little bit of a, a ridge around the end, which a lot of trimming often has. Um, I am not gonna glue it all the way in this time because it doesn't need it. I don't know why I was fixated on gluing the entire thing. It's not necessary. Um, I'm going to stretch it on and then I'm gonna hold it open and everywhere it is loose is gonna be glued. So it's gonna stay where it is, but it, uh, just the tension of it is going to keep it in place. So let's uh, start trimming. That looks so much better. It's nice and neat and smooth and even. Um, there's, you know, there's the, there's a little bit of the lump showing on the end where the uh, the stitching was, but it's all sewn around the ends, um, and that's you know reasonably smooth and neat and tidy. So uh, let's go and fit it back in the car and see what it actually looks like in the car. Alright, and uh, the vents and stuff uh, and this uh, pad are all just still just sitting in here for the time being, but that pad is looking fantastic. All the way along, 
um, over the other side. It's all nice and neat and tidy. Uh, it's a really nice fit. The uh, the glove box still opens, uh, even though it only opens about there. Sorry, this pad is still just just stuck on. Um, but it opens. Um, as a note, uh, actually, a lot of singers don't have glove boxes. They've they've uh, completely deleted it. So it's nice to still keep the glove box functionality. There is a little bit of a gap there, which uh, has to be there for the hinge. But it's uh, it's black. It's quite hard to see. So I am really happy with that. I need to finish it all off. I need to uh, stick these parts on and get them all perfectly lined up again and everything, get this, uh, the vent in and do something about some end caps. I am really happy with that. That's come up the way I wanted it to. It looks good. It looks neat and tidy. And, uh, and finally, I have a, uh, a dash pad on the car, which I never had before. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite nice to actually have that there. There's still things to do to finish it off, but it is Australia Day today, which is a public holiday, so I'm gonna go and uh, catch up with some mates, and um, I'll have to leave this for now, and I'll have to finish this dash off next week, maybe. Uh, I've still got to do the end plates. This, uh, this little vent here is still sort of floating. This, uh, all this stuff is all just sort of floating here. It's not actually um, perfectly in and aligned. So there's still a little bit more to do to make it just right. But these things take time. Um, it's been a lot of time <laughs> doing this and doing it again. But if it's worth doing, it's worth doing twice. So oh, that's not this shirt. This is, uh, it's not perfect. But uh, if you're enjoying this, um, do all the things, like, subscribe, join us on Patreon to watch the videos a day early, ad-free. And uh, if you need parts for any of your Porsches, including crazy purple tartan uh, 911s, <laughs> you can uh, go and compare prices at PorschePartsByJeff.com first. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one.